welcome back to Messy and Beautiful. I'm Sarah Jane. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm filming this in my new craft shed. Um, I'm not entirely moved in yet. I'm going to sort of be doing a bit of organisation stuff on my channel um, as I go through. I'm moving in very slowly. It might be a bit echoey. I've not filmed a video in here before, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, but I thought I'd just give it a try. And if you want to leave me some feedback, then feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, this is the budget haul, um, budget haul, budget planning haul that I was talking about. That I um, basically between January and March, I didn't really buy anything um, until I went to the Southwest Planner Club event, and I was just sort of drip feeding orders or um, like I went to the range and just trying to keep to uh, like minimal budget rather than spending lots and lots of money every single month um, but still satisfy my need for all the pretty things so what I've done is placed a couple of orders from various places um, and then I've got a stack from the range so I'm going to put the stuff from the range to one side because I might depending on how long this video is do that in a separate video um in a bit more detail but i'm just gonna stick that to one side for the moment and get started on these parcels now so i've ordered from essentially two websites so i've ordered from aliexpress and my stationery pal i think it's called i'll leave a link for it in the description um and i thought i would just try them out. aliexpress is basically like a discount shopping website where you can get things really cheap from the far east um but the shipping takes time and my stationery pal is basically ordering from aliexpress but with quicker shipping times supposedly um so aliexpress is kind of from separate shops let's just get stuck in and i'll talk you through it as we go through so the first thing i ordered i actually ordered this back in february um it comes with some ink cartridges is a Hello Kitty cartridge pen. So I am not a pen person by any means, although with the pen video I've got lined up and me moving all my pens in, I, I think I might take that back. Um, <laughs> but I saw this when I was just having a browse on AliExpress of you know cheaper stationary items and I love Hello Kitty and I just thought it was really cute. So I'm gonna give it a try. It comes with loads of ink as well, which is quite amazing. Um, but I don't know if I can get it out of the box easily so I ordered this in February and it's the thing that's taken the longest to arrive um, but it is super cute super super cute I don't know how it's going to write I don't know how good it's going to be but it's got a little angel kitty charm on the top of it I don't know if that's going to annoy me because I am the sort of person that will write with my lid on the end of my pen um, and I haven't really got any with charms on the top, so I don't know. But then there's a little Hello Kitty on the barrel as well. Um, shame about that barcode, because that's not sticky. But never mind. It wasn't expensive. I think it was like seven quid or something. Um, and just sort of really to try a real, you know, basic cartridge pen, see if I like them, see if it works on any of my papers. And then if it does, I might try the one that I got from Pippi Plans a while ago that I haven't used yet. Um, and if I'm not getting on with this, then I'll probably sell the one from Pippi Plans before I use it. Um, was kind of my thinking. So that is my first item. So then the other stuff I got from AliExpress was all from different shops. And they've all been parceled up individually. I've gone through and opened all the packets just quickly just to make it a bit easier to do this unboxing. Um... They're all from separate shops, but they've all been shoved in one like jiffy bag and shipped together, which I thought was pretty awesome. Um, so I ended up getting one massive order instead of lots of little orders. And I was kind of hoping for lots of little orders over time um, rather than, you know, one great big arrival. But I still get the joy of opening it all and it is like doing a big haul then. So that's kind of cool. Um, so the first thing I got is just some cute little kawaii boy and girl sticker flakes. Um, it's just a pack of those oh yeah with me being in the shed as well you may get the odd wildlife noise in the background because we live sort of in the countryside um so you might get noise of some birds and things these are super cute look at these like oh look like nibbling on watermelon aliexpress is the sort of place that i never really know what i'm buying 
like I knew it was sticker flakes and I knew roughly what the patterns would be but because I order three or four things or six or seven things I always forget and then oh that's so cute look at that like, just lovely little boy and girl sort of sharing little experiences oh he's bought her a little jumper very cute so that's my first thing there's about 20 there um i can't remember how much any of these things were because like i said it was a while ago um i'm not going to sit and put those back in the packet at least not now i might do it later i'm working on new sticker organization right i've moved those over there so i'm working on new sticker organization that's everything from that little shop um so it might take me a while to sort all of this out anyway um the next thing i got was from like a separate supplier if you like um which was i've forgotten half the stuff i ordered it's been that long um some little cards like manga anime i don't know if you can see this i'll try and hold it a bit closer um like flip through little book so you basically just can pull out one piece of paper i love that check dress that's awesome <laughs> these are brilliant um and there's tons and tons and tons in here of all these little printed things because i keep seeing all these like cute art journal layouts that use girls and i was like i'm not necessarily into the same sort of girl style that i see on instagram so i tried to go for something that i do like um so that's how i ended up with that and the next thing from another shop with another jiffy bag it's so much easier for me to cut open the jiffy bags i don't know why i haven't thought of doing that before is another box of like sticker flake type things and um, the other thing you could do is if you didn't want to order from aliexpress i know places like gretel creates sell some stuff like this um not these exact ones but similar type items you know sticker flakes that come in a little box like this um but they're all just little little images um like some florals some moon and skies i'll just lift them up a little bit so you can see them better it's a little windmill there just like little box stickers basically um and actually i wonder if they might fit the monthly boxes on a happy planner as well looking at the size of them but they're just cute little sceneries again just kind of in that theme of like the art journaling type stuff because i have as you may know a Hobonichi Vec that is not well used at all. Oh, that's a shame. That was all creased up. Um, it's only one sticker, I suppose. Yeah, it's not well used at all because I don't really know what to do in it every day and I'm just sort of sitting there with all these daily pages in front of me and thinking it's a waste and I might sell the second half and all of this stuff. Um, but I don't want to. I want to keep going with it. But I've barely started it. So I thought maybe if I get some new bits to inspire me a little... So then the next order, again, you'll sort of see my theme of my interest from these sorts of shops at the minute. And like with everything, my taste changes over time. Um, but again, anime and manga stickers. Let's stick those over there for a second. And just lay them out. Walking the dog. Oh, that one's cute. Some of these might be from like cartoons and things as well. I haven't seen loads. I've only seen some of the like anime cartoons god there's tons in here oh look at that one <laughs> i like those they're really cute i just think the artwork is just so pretty there are tons of these god i'm out of space it's gonna start doubling over she's cute too i love her bow in her hair that's really pretty probably should do this a little bit higher up to start with shouldn't i but loads in here and again like maybe one pound fifty two quid something like that you pay shipping on top but your shipping's only about maybe like one pound one pound fifty oh cute so that's those ones and again i'm just gonna try and shove them all back in a pile mind you they're in a box so they'll probably go back in a little bit easier Stick all of those back in there. She says. Now I know shop small and all of that, but I do shop small, so I do a bit of both. Sometimes you've got to do what your budget requires you to do. So the next thing I got 
I went a little bit mad with these and actually I think I ordered some of these from my stationery pal as well because I just thought they were really pretty again going with the artwork the anime manga style artwork um I used to draw manga a lot when I was younger and uh, it's not something I do anymore and maybe I should like, she's gorgeous I just love these and I, I really like the ethereal colours of them all as well so pretty and again just more stuff really for my Hobonichi um, a bit more of like journaling art journaling type spreads that's gorgeous that's the blue one and there's six sheets in there I think they were 80p I'm going to put the girl on top. I think they were about 80 pence each. Um, and then, like for each set, I mean, not for each sheet. And the next one. So I went for like a green and purple sort of colour. So they do their products usually in different colour ranges or different colour patterns. Um, and you can look at them all. But they're not easy to see on a phone because I do all my shopping on my mobile. Um, oh, look, cute little cat. I don't like that one quite as much as the last one. That blue one's my favourite so far. Um, so you get to kind of choose, but a lot of the stuff sells out quite quick as well. They might have, you know, limited quantities or whatever. Um, and then this last one. I love her, a little bonnet hat thing. <laughs> Cute. I like her monocle. That's lovely. Oh, she's really nice. I like her. Although the boot thing's a little strange. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's really nice. That'd be good for like a Christmas sticker. I don't think any of these are cut either, so I'm going to have to sit and fussy cut them if I want to use them. Um, she says. Oh no, they are. They are cut. So they're like the washi sticker type. You just can't see the cut lines very well because the paper's so thin, I imagine. Um, and I thought, again, these would be good for the Hobonichi because the paper is thin on a Hobonichi, so thin stickers saves you that bulk um, in your planner. Um, so that's those ones. Next one is another little book thing. So this is a classic books one. Um, I just saw it and I thought it was really cute and I wanted it on my shelf, if I'm honest. Um, and it's just got Jane Eyre, like quotes inside, um, both white paper and craft paper, um, all the way through. And again, just something else. I might be able to find a little... Um, page in here or something that I like if there is something particularly uplifting um oh like that I offer you my hand my heart my love until death do us part that's cute some of them repeat so but either way that's pretty cool um so yeah that's why I bought that again not expensive a couple of quid if that it's a really good website if you don't have much money. I think I spent an entirety of, on all this, all these stickers. And like, when you think how many are in these boxes, there's maybe 30, 40 stickers in there. Like that one says it's got 50 in it. There's maybe 20 there, six sheets, six sheets of stickers in each one of those. Like I've spent maybe 20 pounds um, tops on the whole lot. So if you are on a budget and you can't afford all the stuff but you can you know stretch to a little bit then this might be the sort of website for you this is another one of those big sticker packs um and these are a bit more like the fashion girls that i was talking about at the beginning i said i wasn't really into the designs but these ones i did actually really quite like these when i saw the pictures so i thought i'd give them a go because for i think these were three pounds for the whole lot i thought for three quid i can give them a try and if I don't like them, then I can pass them on. It might be helpful if I do that, mightn't it? Um, then I can pass them on, sell them on, whatever I decide to do. I like her. However many there are left or what have you. <laughs> Excellent. I don't know how good I am at showing you these, um, but there's loads and loads in here. Maybe if I start doing them in little bundles, I will be here all day. go this one this one there's loads and loads and loads and it just keeps going 
like this feels like a proper stack of stickers in my hand so much so that I'm struggling to like keep hold of them all oh they've gone back up to being upside down look <laughs> they're just a bit more artsy than some of the like fashion girls I've seen I like her she's cute Just gonna speed up a little bit. See if there's any more that catch my eye. Some of them a few. Oh wow. She actually looks like my friend, that's quite funny. Try and do it a bit higher up maybe. So does she. It's funny when you see stuff that reminds you of people you know, isn't it? Oh, drop that one. There we go. Maybe a hundred here, I'd say. I'm guessing fifty to a hundred, something like that, for about three pounds plus shipping. Maybe one pound, one pound fifty. And actually, I've got charged shipping from each individual store. If you like, they're like you know how you get Amazon shops. They're a bit like that. Um, I like her with the umbrella. Um, and everyone charged me shipping and then they've somehow, I think someone clever who works at whatever dispatch warehousey type centre they've got, um, clearly noticed that they were all going to the same place. And so shoved them all in one bag because they, like I say, they were all wrapped individually. Um, but that was like the Fashion Girl stickers. So that is my haul from AliExpress um, with the pen, which is quite a lot of stuff for very little money. Um, there's two there as well, there's that one too. Um, similar theme, I suppose, that's a bit more classic. I suppose that's the only thing that doesn't really in keep with the kawaii, mangari type thing. Um, my taste is a little bit eclectic, let's be honest. So that's all that stuff. So the next place I ordered from was My Stationery Pal. So My Stationery Pal is meant to be, oh cool, a... Um, like faster postage version of happy fourth anniversary stationary pal there we go at stationary pal there we are thank you so much for our support oh right okay okay so i remember why now i bought this stuff and it was super cheap and some of it's not cheap to buy um and certainly not cheap to buy now but when i bought it it was and it's because they were having an anniversary sale um, and there's a discount code on the back of that as well so i can go back and get some more um some of this stuff i ordered this i did not order the reason i'm covering this up is because it's really cool look it's one of the sanrio characters kairomi i think i can't remember what he's called offhand but it's like a little like bulldog clip type thing that's really cool um definitely my taste love it and then this, I don't remember ordering this, don't remember ordering any kind of, I'm just going to slide it out, pen. But, oh cool. So it's a Zebra Sarasa 0.5 pen in pink, um, of which I have them in 0.4s in varying colours. And I've also got a green one somewhere that's got Arial on it too. Um, so that's good timing, that can go in my pen pile to be sorted through. So then... That must be a freebie. There's nothing else in there. Um, things I bought. There's a little thank you card. That's cute. With all the little bears. And then I bought some sticky notes. Um, I don't use sticky notes. I keep buying them and I'm going for a phase of buying them. And I don't use them. So I need to start using them. But I bought some that have like little cats and bunnies and bears on them. And little weekly layout ones. I just thought they'd be cool for like a habit tracker type thing. And the same for a weekly plan. It's got the days of the week at the top. And then a little checklist one. I'm basically drawn to the artwork in those kind of things. And then these, I had in my basket on AliExpress for ages. And then they sold out. But then I saw them on my station account. And I thought, I do really want them because I have looked at them forever. Um, um, but they're all like little checkered papers, little pieces of paper. And again, just in keeping with the art journal and stuff. And I've actually got six by six paper pad that matches this. Um, and I love my checks and I love my blues and I love my greens so I've had it in my basket for ages I thought why not order it I did think they were sticky notes so that'll teach me to read things before I order them 
Um, then the next things I got, I basically have been reading about in groups, people rave about them, and I was like, you know what, I want to try them. And I've been looking at them for ages, and because I hadn't bought anything for so long, I bought some clean colour dot markers. Um, this box is about 40 quid's worth of stuff. I paid £22, I think they were on sale. Um, I've since been back, they are not £22 anymore, they are now more expensive. Um, but when I saw how cheap they were, I was like, do you know what, I'm going to give them a go. So I've got 12 colours, um, all to try out. I haven't used these before, but I'm sure that you have seen them on other people's channels where they have like a fine tip on one side that's like a 0.5mm tip and the other side is a ball. So you basically dot it on the paper. There's a load of this. I don't really want to use a piece where there's not loads of. Um, I don't really have anything because all my paper's still in the house instead of out here, but you basically just and you do your bullet points with your clean colour dot markers instead of having to use um, stickers or you know just a bullet point. You can do little fine ones as well, or you can do like varying sizes, different sides, I assume do different circles, you know, that kind of thing. Um, the intention is bullet points. I hope they don't all leave that little mark in the middle. But that's probably the paper I'm using rather than because that's not that's like a sticky paper, like a wax paper. Um, anyway, so I've got 12 of those for 20 quid, which absolute bargain. And the delivery time, that's one thing I was going to say, the delivery time for my stationery pal was only about four or five days slower than AliExpress. However, in the past, AliExpress has taken three or four months for things to deliver. And if stationery pal is that fast, then like on a normal day, then you want something a bit quicker. They might be the way to go rather than going to AliExpress, but you do pay a little bit more. Um, anyway, and then the last thing I got was some Tombow Food and Osuki, forgive me if that's the incorrect way to pronounce it, in neon colours. I didn't realise they were neon when I bought them. <laughs> like, I thought they were bright colours, I didn't realise they were neon. Again, they were on a whim. I'd heard people talk about them in the planner groups for improving your hand lettering. They're supposed to be like a really good beginner's brush pen um, that will help you to be able to form the letters more easily. So I thought I would try them. Um, and for someone who's not a pen person, I've just bought all the pens of all the kinds. Um, so there's that. Maybe some brush lettering videos if you want to come on my journey. I don't know. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. Um, so that's my order from Stationery Pal. It came with the little clip and this extra freebie pen. Even got a For You sticker on it, that's cute. And the thank you card, of course, and the discount code, um, which was pretty good. I think I spent 35 or 40 quid in total because um, they weren't cheap. They were about 10 or 15 pounds. I should have looked up the pricing. Um, but yeah, I didn't spend an awful lot of money with them. And if you don't buy the expensive pens, you can buy the cheap stationery and get it delivered pretty quickly. Um, again, if you didn't want to spend a load of money, I'm just going to quickly whip through what I bought from the range and then maybe I'll do a proper um, like flip through of the sticker books in my next video just to kind of keep it short because I don't want to go on for another 25 minutes. Um, yeah, so the other thing you can do if you're shopping on a budget is go to places like The Range, the works, Wilco, where else? Hobby craft sort of, but they can be quite expensive and they don't really do, you know, this sort of stuff. Um, the range is probably one of my favourite places to go for the crafty type things. Try to think where else. You know, there's WH Smith, Paper Chase, Poundland, B&M Bargains, Home Bargains. They often have like stationary type products. Um, so it's just about shopping around really. Home Sense, TK Maxx. Um, and seeing what you can find. But the range is one of my favourite places for craft stuff because it's just so cheap. It is so cheap. So I bought a box of washi tape. Now, the justification for this was that I went in to find these because if you remember where my channel first started, it was about the range sticker books. Um, and I knew that these existed and I've been in... God, where have I been? I've been down to... 
um, Bridgewater, so the like Bristol kind of direction. Um, I've been up to York. I've been to loads of ranges in Essex where I live. Um, and I eventually found them at my local one. But when I've been away and I've seen a range, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to nip in and see if I got them. Couldn't find them, couldn't find them, couldn't find them. And then all of a sudden I found them and now there's loads in stock. So what I've done is I've bought a spare two to put in a giveaway for my next milestone. Um, but I've also bought these two so that I can have them use them and show them on my channel. Um, and because they were next to these that match quite nicely with the colours, I bought the washi tape as well. So I will perhaps go through those in another video. But they're like Happy Planner style sticker books um, and they only cost two quid. So two pound for a whole set of stickers that has, and I'm talking tons, like proper Happy Planner style stickers in there. Um, yeah, four pounds and that was a fiver. So less than a tenner and you can have a whole collection of washi tape and two sticker books, which I think is pretty amazing. Um, I'm not sponsored by the range. This is just stuff I love to buy. Um, the other thing I got was a colouring and craft book. Um, this has just got images to colour in. That I thought would make quite cool like dashboards. I like that one. Like it's all the teacups and teapots, ice creams and there's some vellum in the middle as well. And I'm really into my vellum at the moment. Um, every day is a new day. Look at that. I don't know if you can colour these in. I might need my like, alcohol markers on that paper. Um, but there's some colouring in stickers in here. Um, some more stickers that are like plants. There's some washi strips. Um, these are like A6 style journal cards. Like I love this one. Not so cute. Not my sort of thing. But I'm sure it'll appeal, appeal to somebody. I really like that too. Um, some more like journal card type things. I can't remember how much this book was now. Bakers make the world better. Eat more ice cream. And then some tags as well. And I just thought it was really cool. I was like, all these colouring or, water, you know, painting, painting's a suggestion on here. And you could get a little bit crafty with it, but it's still got all your like planning type needs in there. It might have been about three pounds, maybe. I bought quite a lot of stuff when I was in there because I was getting bits of my house as well. Um, but I can't go in the range without buying from their craft section. Um, and then the last thing I got was a vellum pattern paper. Um, it is reds and pinks and oranges. I wish it was greens or blues or purples, but this is the only one they had. And I was like, do you know what? There's got to be some in here that I really like. So it's vellum paper with patterns on it. And as I said before, I'm getting a little bit crazy with the vellum in my stalogies and that sort of thing. And I obviously bought the new one to set up. So I thought, why not? There's three with flowers, three just plain red, three red and yellow like watercolour pattern. There's three in just sunny yellow. I really like that. That might be the plain ones might be good backdrops for stickers as well. Um then some three of the like floral ones. And there's three like peachy pinky coloured ones. Some swirly tie dye kind of patterns. You can tell I'm good on the adjectives, can't you? Then some orange ones. There's three of each type. Some mini flowers. That's really cute. I like those. And some more, like more of a burnt orange colour. There's a bit of a fault on that one. But there isn't on the others. Some gingham. Oh, there's a bit of green in this one. Some like gingham, sort of picnic check. And then some green ones. Oh, look at that. I lucked out with the green at the end. There you go. Three green ones at the end just for me. Um, but there's 36 sheets in here. That A5 in size. I think it was £2. Like, I think I did 20 quid. All the stickers, all the washi tape, the journal cards and vellum papers. So you really don't need to spend a lot of money if you are doing crafting on a budget, if you're doing planning on a budget, because all of this stuff can be used. Um... I'm going to leave it there, I think, and then I'll come back and do more of a in-depth one of these because this video is already getting quite long. I'm not by any means, you know, good at sticking to my budget, but at least this way I was spend still getting the stuff, spending less. And if you use up stuff quite quickly, that's the other thing. You might hear the church bells now as well because I'm on this side of the house. Um, <laughs> 
which is one step closer to the church. Um, so, yeah, if you're planning on a budget and you don't have a lot of money, but you want all the stuff and all the things and all the pretty things, then, you know, maybe AliExpress, if you don't want to do that sort of shopping, you know, um, or, or Stationery Pal. And if you don't want to do that sort of shopping, go to your local range, go to the shops that I mentioned, and you might be able to pick up some really good stuff. Um, the other place to look for, of course, is D Stashes. I hope that this has been somewhat useful as well as interesting in terms of the things that I've bought recently and, and maybe sometime soon once I've sorted out my craft room um, we'll get back to some other type of content other than holes. Um, but next time I'm going to do a flip through of these books. Thank you very much for joining me. Hit the subscribe button if you want to come back and see me again. Take care. Bye.